get a Mexican woman that appreciates you. Yo, what's up, guys? Back again with another video. First and foremost, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. But right into the video, here we go. This is a Mexican woman showing off her cooking skills. She's showing off the fundamentals. See, and this is exactly what I'm saying. This is exactly what we be saying. I have yet to see any black woman, any woman from our own community showing off fundamental skills. She not showing off twerking. She not showing off long nails. She not showing off long weave. She not showing off wigs and, and, and her fighting stance, her fighting style. She's shown off cooking, a fundamental skill that is conducive to a healthy relationship, a woman in the kitchen that knows how to cook for her man. She knows what men want. She said, get you a Mexican woman. Black women, watch out. Watch out. The Mexican women, they're coming for your head top. Not only do y'all have to worry about the white women, the Beckys, but y'all also got to worry about the Marias. The Marias is coming for your head top. They know how to cook. Rice and bees, chicken, fried chicken, anything. Anything the black man wants, they know how to cook it. And they take pride in serving their man. They take pride in respecting and, and, and adoring their man. Imagine asking a black woman to, to make a video cooking. She's going to be like, what? Cook? Do I look like a maid? Do I look like a slave? What? She might damn near have a whole argument argument with you, a whole fight, just because you asked her to cook something and post a, a, a something. She's going to be out here looking, uh, acting like, 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 like you asked her to uh, uh, do a jumping jacks backwards while speaking Spanish and, and, and doing backflips. Like, this is the type of women that we're looking for. And it's, it's sad that we see this type of fundamental skills from other races. We don't even see this from our own race, from our own race of women. We can't even can't even see them take pride in provide and just supporting a man like this Mexican woman. She looks so happy. I can I, I, I can definitely see this woman being prideful. And, and loving to cook for her man, loving and, and supporting her man, loving and, and, and having a nice, warm, home-cooked meal ready for her man when, she come, when, he, when he come home back from work. She's going to have his food ready. She's going to have his bed warmed up. She's going to have his, his shower ran warm, his, his, his slippers ready, everything ready for him, ready to love on him, adore him, feed him. She probably, she'll probably even feed him. But to ask any women from our own community to do the same, it's going to be like you asking her to move a mountain. You asking her to, to fly, jump, do cartwheels, somersaults, and speak Spanish at the same time. What you mean? What, what you mean I got to cook? What you mean a uh, 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 cook? Do I look like a slave? Do I look like a maid? Why don't you cook for yourself? Oh, so if I got to cook for myself, why do I need you? This is the, the, the dilemma that we have in the black community. And this is the reason why passport bros are going overseas, because this is the type of things that we're looking for in our own women that we cannot find. This is something simple, very simple, very basic. She's cooking. It's like this is one of your duties as a woman. It's not it's not slave work. It's not maid work. Nobody's calling you a slave or a maid because you can provide a hot meal for your man nobody's looking at you as, as as a slave if anything the man is more looking like a slave if, if more than anything because he's the one that uh, uh, without a doubt he has to provide for you he got to support you he got to pay the bills back in the days when when the slaves when we uh, when, when slaves were uh or existed they had to work regardless they weren't in in the house cooking i mean some of them maybe the house slaves but the most most of, of the slaves were outside in the yard and in the field working in the hot blazing sun. If anybody's a slave, it would be the men more than anything. But the men have no problem 
providing for their wife, providing for, for, their, for their partner, supporting her, protecting her, leading her. They have no problem doing so. And men take pride. Black men take pride in providing and supporting their woman. But for ask, to ask the, the, the woman to do the same for us, to just, you know, do her part, play her role, it's asking too much. You asking her to move a mountain. And this is exactly why I tell my brothers, please get your passports. It's no longer uh, uh, an option to date in the West. It's no, it's gotten that bad. Yes, it's that bad. Yes, it is. It's to the point now that literally asking them to do something basic like cooking, give you a back rub because you had a long day at work. Your body is aching. You was picking up heavy boxes, heavy materials, heavy, all this stuff. Of course, you're going to be aching. If you say, hey, babe, you mind just give me a back rub real quick? She's going to be like, what? Back rub? Uh, do I look like a maid? Like, why is it that these women automatically think that they're a maid just for doing simple things? Whereas in other cultures, they don't think of themselves as maids. I don't see no Mexican women saying, oh, they think I'm a maid because I'm cooking. No. They know they they know what they're supposed to do. They play their role because they understand the man is the head of the household. You got to support your man because he's supporting you in every way, shape, and form. He's protecting for you. He's providing for you. He's leading you. He's being your personal counselor. Anytime, if, if a man wants to run up in the house in the middle of the night, he's going to have to be the one to protect you, put his life on the line to make sure you're good. He's doing all that. And you can't even do the bare minimum of even making sure he has a hot meal ready for him when he come back home from work. That's the bare minimum. That's the bare minimum. And they can't even do that. And they wonder why black men are going overseas to date foreign women that have these type of principles. Because we don't have to ask for them to do these things. We don't have to fight for them to, to understand what is necessary in a healthy long-term relationship they already know they already know from birth they was raised like that they was raised in the culture where their mothers their grandmothers their aunties they all grew up, raised them up in the kitchen yo you know you got to support your man when your father comes home you have to you know what i mean lay his clothes out for him you gotta you know lay uh put his food on the table you know what i mean put his plate out take his shoes off give him back rub all that because he's the head of the household he's the leader we have to support the leader because we can't lead this household by ourselves. We need him. He's the support. He's the foundation we, that we stand upon. They understand that. Whereas in the black community with black women, we, it, it seems like we're just teaching them the fundamentals. It's like we have to teach them the basics. It's like, why don't you already know the basics? Because the men, they know the basics. The black men, they know the basics. They know, okay, we got to provide. We got to protect. We got to do our, our role. We got to be the man in the, in the house. We have to. You don't see black men uh, 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 arguing or complaining about having to provide. They don't, com they don't complain. Even though we got the short end of the stick because we have to eventually, you know, give our life up in order to protect her if, if the need arises. But we still don't complain. We just do it because... That's, that's just what we are. That's just how we were made to be. It's in our, ingrained in our nature as men to provide and protect. If we don't do that, we don't even feel like we're real men. We take pride in protecting, providing for our woman, for our family. But these women, specifically black women in America, in the West, they don't take pride in doing their part. They don't take pride in supporting your efforts. So it's like, of course the men are going to go overseas. Of course they're going to find women who do take pride in doing these things. Like, it, it only makes sense. And if you can't see that, then you are also part of the problem. If you can't understand this simple, fundamental uh, 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 principle, then you are also part of the problem. My brothers, please, and I'm going to continue to keep telling y'all, please get your passports. Don't wait. Book your flights five months out, six months out, seven months out. Book your passports. Passport bros, we up. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.